Greetings of the season. What feelings do they convey for this holiday week of 1943? Against a background of war at a time when so many hearts are filled with anxiety, what is the meaning of this gesture of goodwill among men? Today we offer for each other the greetings of the season as an expression of our faith, courage, and hope. It is a pledge of unity among free men. It is a symbol of our determination to work and to sacrifice that the ideals of peace on earth and goodwill toward men may not perish from the earth. In this spirit, the men and women of Philco Corporation, who are helping to fight the battle of production, look with confidence to the future and to the dawn of a brighter day for all mankind. And for themselves, as well as for Philco dealers everywhere, they send to their many friends in the far corners of the United States and Canada the greetings of the season. <laughs> Because of his shining career as a heroic tenor in the Wagnerian tradition, because of his lavishly given services in the war tasks of show business, and especially because he adds six feet, four inches, and 300 pounds of natural gaiety to the New York scene, Variety nominates for the Hall of Fame, Lauritz Melchior. Large Lauritz and that small and lovely wife of his, the Kleinchen Maria, are taken together a constant indication that the world of good music is not of necessity a pompous, stuffed shirt secret society. Consequently, they're beloved of all local men of goodwill. Lauritz, the Great Dane, sings for us a Scandinavian folk song arranged by Edvard Grieg, entitled The Great White Band, Mr. Melchior. <laughs> 